Hey Moonbeams, this is Donna Moon Goddess and I'm back with another video. I want to welcome my new subscribers and my old subscribers back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are doing the Moonology Manifestation Oracle Unboxing. Yay! All right, here we go. Plastics coming off. Boom. Um, Yasmin Boland is my moonology teacher. She is the person I got my certification from. And I also want to mention the artist because the art is amazing. Lori Mena is the artist. So here we go. And this deck actually has 48 cards and a guidebook. I think most Oracle decks that I think of that I have have about 44 cards. So this is cool. All right. And you know I love it when there's something on the inside. So here it is. And here is the guidebook. That is very, very nice. Nice thick one. Oh gosh. Ooh, I just put a, I guess my eyes aren't used to having makeup on, you know, because I have it. Good grief. I don't put it on every day, so it's kind of watering. But anyway, here is the book. And gives you an idea. So, I'm going to make a video about this actually, but the difference between the Moonology deck that she made before and the Moonology manifestation cards is what's in this book more about that in my next video so be sure to come back all right here we go and that's it um, inside of the bottom in case you were wondering paper off all right first card is the new moon in Aries go for it uh, I think I'll put them how I'll do it. yeah I'll do it like that and the second card is, oh my gosh, my eyes watering like crazy. So sorry. Oof. New Moon and Taurus, you know your worth. And the backs of these cards are absolutely gorgeous. Here's that. Wow. Okay. New Moon and Gemini, think it through. Oh, sorry, gotta put it in front of me, gotta remember that. And New Moon and Cancer, relax. New Moon and Leo, shine. New Moon and Virgo, trust all will be well. New Moon in Libra, know you are loved. New Moon in Scorpio, go deeper. New Moon and Sagittarius, focus on the positive. New Moon and Capricorn, step up and lead. New Moon and Aquarius, open up to change. New Moon and Pisces, attune to the divine. Now we're on to the first quarter moons. First quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. First quarter moon in Taurus, release control. First quarter moon in Gemini, speak your world into being. I can tell you right now, these are, uh, this one is one of my favorites. And, uh, if you'll notice, there are chakras on the first quarter moon cards. First quarter moon in Cancer, push through any insecurity.
first quarter moon in Leo, be humble. First quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation. First quarter moon in Libra, keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. First quarter moon in Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. First quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. First quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe. First quarter moon in Pisces, honor your feelings. Now on to the full moon cards. Full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. Full moon in Taurus, detoxify. Full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. Full moon in Cancer, let your fears dissolve. Full moon in Leo, go wild. Full moon in Virgo, take inspired action. Full moon in, full moon in Libra, find a balance. Full moon in Scorpio, breathe through the tension. These are gorgeous. Full moon in Sagittarius. See the bigger picture. Full moon in Capricorn. Take a reality check. Full moon in Aquarius. Be real. Full moon in Pisces. Forgive. On to the last quarter moons. Last quarter moon in Aries, work through your feelings. Last quarter moon in Taurus, be proud of yourself. Last quarter moon in Gemini, clear your mind. Last quarter moon in Cancer, take a breather. Last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. Last quarter moon in Virgo, attend to the details. Last quarter moon in Libra, make time for self-love. Last quarter moon in Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. Last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude. Last quarter moon in Capricorn, leave the past behind. Last quarter moon in Aquarius, reflect on your priorities. And the last card is last quarter moon in Pisces, talk less, feel more. This one's beautiful. They are really, truly all beautiful. So, let me see if there's anything I could read from the book, maybe. Um, well, I'll tell you what the contents are. The Magical Lunar Cycle, uh, working with the cards, the New Moon cards, the First Quarter Moon cards, full moon cards and the last quarter moon cards so let me see da, da, da. I'll do the introduction and then I think we'll be done okay welcome to the moonology manifestation oracle you have in your hands a guidebook to a magical tool that can help you create your own reality and charge your life 
in amazing ways. No, not charge, change your life in amazing ways. These cards will show you the power you already have to manifest your dreams. Maybe you already know intuitively that manifesting and the moon go hand in hand. It's almost as if they were made for each other. The moon is the magical queen of our skies and in astrology, our emotions. And what do we manifest with? Our emotions. So the energies of the moon are the perfect conduit for our magical manifestations indeed. Manifesting with the moon, consciously creating in tune with the magical lunar cycle is something ancient magical women and men have done for millennia. Now it's your turn. All right, I think that's enough from the book. So I will um, continue with that in my next video about the beautiful Moonology Manifestation Oracle Cards. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you liked it and please subscribe if you're new because I talk mainly about the moon on my channel and I'm a certified moonologer. So there will be lots of content all about that. And I have moon videos. I have like a moon 101 video. I have a video all about the dark moon and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, Moonbeams. High vibes and take care.